Hey, Alison Northner here with Creative Scrapbooker Magazine, um, telling you some of our best tips of how to capture your Bible art if we've asked you to submit, because we don't have you send us your Bibles, but we do need a good quality image. So the first thing that you need to do is find some really good lighting. Um, right now, I am in front of my patio doors where you can see when I turn this direction, it's beautiful soft light. You do not want direct light, you want indirect light that just flows in. The second thing that we need you to do is check your camera settings. Um, if you can shoot raw, um, which is like an NEF file, that's the best. If it's high quality JPEG, um, that should be fine as long as you follow all the other directions as well. Okay, then the next thing we want you to do is place your Bible on top of some white um, cardstock or paper so that you have no background that interferes with the image. Also, to avoid getting some shadowing, um, I've got some cardstock here to act as reflectors that will help eliminate some of the shadowing. The next thing we want you to do is take your picture and be very careful of the angle. We want you to be straight on top of your Bible. We don't want you to come at it from this angle or have an angle like this or like this, but just get right over top of it, straight down. And what we want you to do is take the picture and leave us a few inches around the edges of your Bible so that we have some space to kind of crop and adjust and work with it that way. So um, again, those are the tips that we would love you to follow to capture that good quality image. Um, the biggest, most important thing is that it's in focus, really crisp focus. There is no cure for blur. I can eliminate some shadows and adjust some coloring and things, but I cannot fix blur. So hold your camera nice and steady. Make sure your shutter speed is high enough to not cause any blur. And maybe take two or three images um, and send us the best one or two of those. Okay, thanks so much.